Dave, Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave. What? <laughs> what? Don't do that. Here. I'm working on it. Int, 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 int. We'll get started in about uh, two minutes here or so. Two minutes. I figure there's people still walking in. There's still some people walking in and shit, so we're going to sing. All right, let's get started. Woo! Morning, DerbyCon. That was that was weak. Come on, one more time. One. I am impressed. Uh, from from what I could hear last night, I think it was like uh, I don't know, two in the morning. I heard screaming going through all the hallways. It sounded like someone was dying. So uh, it sounds like you guys partied hard last night, and you're still here eight thirty in the morning. So we appreciate it. <laughs> So welcome. And anybody here the first time coming to DerbyCon? Wow, that's awesome. Good to see okay. that. That's crazy. That's awesome. Well, welcome. Welcome to your first DerbyCon. Um, just real quick, just a brief history. And what we're going to do just for the first um, you know, half hour here, really, is just go through kind of how it started, how the con structured, what you need to know. And then uh, from there, we'll have uh, HD come on and do the keynote, and then have Ed Scotus come on and do the other keynote. And uh, we'll go from there. Sound good? Yeah. Right. So, I mean... Really, how this all started was, uh, what was it, five years ago now or four years ago? Uh, yeah, it was 2010 was when we did the class. Right. So, so Adrian did a uh, uh, Metasploit class uh, here in Louisville, and um, you know we all came to it and everything. And I think the first time you wanted to, you wanted to have like, what was it, like 15 people or 20 people to show? Yeah, we were figuring something along those lines. And I originally invited these guys because I was like, okay, they came and 
pwned my CTF and uh, owned my box in the process because someone didn't get the freaking rules of engagement. No, 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 no. So you had you had the laptop on the same network as the CTF. Now, oh, I, I, I think it was free game. It was free game. And, and, and mind you, I thought it was a really hard CTF because I hit him with the Vista zero day at the time. So, I mean, I thought it was... Yeah, I, it wasn't, I had it fully patched, but it wasn't a patch yet. And I didn't mitigate. It was a zero day, but so, I mean... They but when I started going through, I'm like, man, this is a really live computer. It's got, like, Adrian pictures and, you know, like, <laughs> Girlfriend 1 and, like, all the CTF videos. I started downloading all these. I'm like, hey, you know, if I own them from a zero day, I must be able to download everything. That's cool. And then, you know, hey. Yeah, it was this computer, so. Yeah. Sorry. But anyway, so I invited them to help me out, and uh, it was, uh, of course, Martin, Dave, Ken, and Elliot, and myself teaching the Metasploit class, and we got so many people signed up for it. See, no one was watching the sign-up sheet. So we were all of a sudden, we went from, like, someone we expected, I don't know, 20, 30, to like 70 something. I'm like, oops. And so we're like, you know what? We can get this many people here for a one day class for uh, Johnny Long's charity, uh, HFC. So it was like, can we put on a, we all were like, one of us, I don't know who suggested it first, can we put on a conference? Yep. And uh, we, they can't hear me down there? No, we hear that we're going to go off. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. So. You know, once, we, once we, uh, we, we did that, we're like, hey, we should start a conference here. And uh, I remember the whole drive home, like, we're really going to do this. We're really going to start a conference. We're really going to do it. And so we started planning. We started thinking about it. And we had no idea what to expect. So we're like, you know what? We're just going to figure it out as it went along. We're like, the first year, if we get 300 people, it would be awesome. And so we called up some of our buddies. Like, HD, I think, has been the keynote for the past three years running. Um, a lot of other folks came in, uh, to the first DerbyCon. It became this kind of collective of a bunch of people really just trying to you know, work together, and um, the first year we had 1,100 people. And so we're like, okay, that's pretty good from a 300 bogey that we had. And uh, from there, it's just progressively gotten a lot better. And, uh, you know, this year, I mean, we, the first year we ran it, we had no idea what we were doing, never ran a conference before, you know, had no idea how to print handouts or get speaker badgers or what to do. And but we so, did have a lot of awesome staff who had worked at other conferences before. Yep. Yeah. And that's where, you know, Nick ended up coming to board on and, and working on the security and working on it being, a, 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 you know, basically a complete pinnacle part of DerbyCon. And then, you know, Aaron, the wife here, uh, who basically holds all, all of our ADD together so that uh, we can kind of focus on everything else. It's not Girls? me, listen. <laughs> listen, this con, this con is not about us. It's, it's really about you and what we want to get out of it. Um, the conference itself is really supposed to be dedicated to you guys coming here together to work together and making it the way you want it to be. So that's really what we wanted to get out of it. We just wanted to have a place to come chill together and hang out. I mean, I remember going to, you know, the early DEF CON day, uh, days and just being able to see, you know, see people that I respected in the industry, get to meet them. You don't have the craziness of DEF CON. And don't get me wrong, DEF CON is amazing and awesome. Uh, great experience and something that I, you know, cherish going to every year. But just that intimacy of being able to work together and see the people that you know and hang out with them and, you know, when you walk out the 4th Street Live, you're drinking with people that you see in the industry and people that might just be coming up new in the industry, people that have years of experience. You know, it's just a great way to kind of work together. Uh, real quick, I just want to explain why Nick's in the cast here. Um, yeah, I did have a slide in there. I gave you the sanitized one, Nick, sorry. You told me something about nuns and ninjas. Yeah. So, so Nick, Nick, uh, Nick, you know, it was like three weeks ago or something like that, and Nick calls me and he's on like something way better than morphine or something. And um, so... Is that better or worse? All right, cool. <laughs> so the people over there can't hear, but that's, that's okay for you folks over here. <laughs> so Nick, no, you're not going to check it out. You're right here. So Nick, Nick calls me, and he's basically on something like Morphin. It's like a Sunday. And Nick works with Trusted Sec, you know, the company that I work with. And uh, he's like, hey, hey man, I um, just want to let you know that there was a golf cart accident. My golf cart flipped, and... Uh, my left arm was longer than my right arm, and I fractured it, and I pulled it, and they had to pop it back in place. But I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll, I'll be there Monday. I'm like, no, no, don't, don't be there Monday. So apparently there was no alcohol involved at all. <laughs> and a small rock caused it, which caused the whole thing to flip. So let me, let me clarify. There was no alcohol abuse involved. The cans were empty when the cart flipped. Okay, so. So I just wanted to give a shout out that our head of security that's here to protect all of us is in a cast right now. So if you need anything, don't go to him. At least, at least if, you're, if you're doing something really bad, just tap his left shoulder. And that's no joke. Don't, don't touch his left shoulder. Do not do that. I did it twice already because I give people hugs all the time and I forget. And it's not a good sight. He gets really mad at me. Bad touch. Bad touch. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the handouts. Um, 
but this year we did lose somebody in the community that was, you know, really, you know, well known and uh, someone that I was a good friend with. And, uh, you know, if you if you look at the handouts, just take a look at it, read through it. Um, this year we wanted to dedicate DerbyCon to uh, Barnaby Jack, who, you know, for us was a huge inspiration, did a lot of great stuff in the community, and if you knew him well, you knew that he was kind of the life of the party and the center of, uh, of light when he came to you. So, you know, this year is definitely dedicated to Barnaby and, and everything that he did. Um, you know, whenever we lose somebody, we lose a lot of people, you know, it, just, it happens. But, you know, we've got to celebrate and be happy about, uh, you know, things that he did do and the betterment of the community. So, you know, quick shout out to Barnaby Jack and everything that he's done in the past. Martin? All right, so want to talk a little bit about the statistics. Uh, this is the third DerbyCon. Uh, so we had a question on the Twitter the other day. Does anybody know about how many attendees we needed to break even on the first DerbyCon? Oh, you did. I missed it. Sorry. Anyway, all right, so we actually got a staggering 1,100 people the first year. Sorry, I was over there trying to fix something. I missed it. So uh, anyway, so last year uh, in 2012, we had about 1,700 people. And uh, this year, it looks like we're going to have 1,900, maybe even 2,000 people. And uh, like I said, none of us have ever put on comm before. Uh, this is sort of a first-time thing for all of us, so uh, we definitely appreciate feedback. We know there's stuff that goes wrong. There always is, but we keep trying to improve it uh, every year. Uh, we try to accept as many talks as possible, add tracks, stash stuff wherever we can. Uh, so uh, we really appreciate everybody coming, appreciate feedback, and all that stuff. Is it still me? No. Test, test. So Hackers for Charity, we all know that, what that is. And I, Dave touched on this a little before about our community. And um, that's really what we were going for right from the beginning. Um, and it really goes with our, our theme of uh, DerbyCon 3, All in the Family. And it shows. Um, our first uh, DerbyCon, we raised more money than we thought we could ever raise for Hackers for Charity. We raised uh, $13,600 in 2011. And last year, we raised 34700 And right now, so we're going to try to beat that this year. It's up to you guys. OK, so we're going to try to do that. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing in this particular section, but uh, a few things to say to people. Please, you know, remember we're a family here. Be courteous and respectful of each other. You know, this is just not a con, but a family. And uh, we're here to learn, build a better community. And if you have any suggestions on how we can do that, let us know. Treat each other with respect. Um, help each other out if you have a secret about a problem. Um, thinking about schmuocalypse, like a few years ago when people were, like, out in the snow. If you see someone like that, you're not going to see that here. If you see someone, like, you know, pass out someplace, make sure they get back to the room and, uh, Hope each other out and uh, hope we have a great conference. And I don't know if you remember last year, but uh, last year we had a uh, mysterious bag that was found. And so we hope to have a repeat of something like that last year. It was, uh, <laughs> it was a bag, and we, so we, we, security finds the bag, and they want to return it to the owner. So we open the bag up, and it's a large bottle of wine, a box of condoms, and an alpha wireless card. Um, so <laughs> Sounds like a party to me. <laughs> and a lockpick set. Sorry, and a lockpick set. So. So, um, you know, we hope to see things like that again. And we also had a man down on the, what was it, the 11th floor? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, was that the Nickerson uh, red team bag? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's for waterproofing. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, and then we also had a man down on the 17th floor, I think, where, um, you know, someone took a picture saying man down. And we literally got the tweet like 30 minutes later. We didn't see it until about 30 minutes later. And so, you know, security goes up to the 17th floor to check him out, and he's in the same, same exact position, halfway in the elevator, halfway out of the elevator. So, you know, I was on eighth floor, whatever. Yeah, but sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, you know, we, uh, we, we hope to have some fun things like that, obviously, and, you know, take care of one another and, and be fun with it and all that good stuff. And if you notice that the seats may be a little, um, you know, a little tight, and uh, where's Ben 10 at? Where's he at? Ben, where are you at? Yeah, stand up on someone works. Yeah. Ben's over there. Ben's in the back over there. So we used him as a normal method to see how well we should space everything out. Um, so we figured it was about average size. <laughs> so yeah, I can't be in the audience. <laughs> he was also uh, recently removed from the exit row on a plane. 
<laughs> we love you, buddy. We love you. <laughs> so why we do it, and this is something that actually Johnny said yesterday, um, that we take heart. This is why we do DerbyCon, and it's, you know, it's amazing how you make a con that mimics all of our personalities, and it's a conference about being a one community. And that's really the feeling that we wanted to get with it, is taking all of our personalities and you know, we all have crazy quirks and ADD and everything else, but making it all about one community and kind of come together, figure out what we're doing and how we're doing it the best. So that's really why we started the conference, and that's really what we wanted to do. And that's why we made DerbyCon, and uh, hopefully you find the, the same with you guys. Uh, quickly out of the land, Martin. All right, so I'm just going to go over kind of where this stuff is. It's basically, if anybody was here last year, it's uh, similar. We've added a little bit. So we have uh, sort of three main tracks here. For the keynote, it's going to be totally open. Uh, then it's going to split into the three rooms. Uh, so we have one, two, three. Then we have a uh, fourth track over here in the Oaks and Derby room, which we call the three-way. Uh, so basically, we had the, you know, the break me, the fix me, the teach me tracks. And then we had a lot of talks that uh, we couldn't decide. Uh, which category they went in. So we uh, last year we created the three-way room, uh, so you could get anything over there. Uh, then we have, uh, you know, then we have what's called the stable talks, which are the shorter sort of lightning talks, uh, you know, covering tools, topics, all that kind of stuff. Those are downstairs in uh, the Pimlico. I can't even say it right. Pimlico room. Anyway, that's downstairs on the left. And then. Uh, we had all that last year, and then this year uh, we had so many submissions, and uh, we had so many great ones. It was really hard to decide, so there was uh, there was some overflow. Uh, so this year, over in the conference theater, uh, there'll be uh, talks there today and tomorrow, I believe, as well. Yeah, and it's funny because every year, you know, we look at at the talks, and like the first year we do, we're like, all right, we'll get three tracks, and then the fourth year we're like, oh man, we have so many awesome talks and submissions that we're going to create a stable talk and a three way, and this year we're like okay, well, we have so many good talks, so we're going to create also the next, you know, the overflow one, basically. Now we have basically six tracks working out with about 127 speakers. So that's insane, and it's awesome. It's great. Um, you know, and again, it's just a testament to, to you guys. I mean, you make the con, not us. I mean, it, you're, the, the talks that you give, the research that you do, the lives that you have are what the reason why we're here and giving these talks, and it's awesome. So, hmm? yeah. so as always, you guys are awesome. Um, I've had, uh, as far as, you know, security in con uh, experience that I've had, it's basically been B-Sides and, and DerbyCon. And every year, just it actually gets easier and easier. Um, we expect about 500 more people than last year, uh, but everyone's been so awesome. But remember, the red shirts, red uh, security guys, are your friends. We're there just to help you guys out, keep everybody safe. Um, so let's listen to them. We're just here to help. Um, if we can improve any on anything, if you think that you know something can be changed for the better, let us know. Let us know. We're good. And just as a reminder, if this is your first con, um, right out in front by registration, this is a little different than other places or other venues. It's uh, it's a public area. It's actually a, th a public thoroughway for Kentucky. It's their skywalk. So um, when you s hear uh, Josh Marpet Quadling yelling at the top of his lungs, he's actually supposed to be doing that to keep that area clear because uh, there's people trying to get to work and stuff. So really appreciate uh, um, all your your support in uh, you know the previous years and look forward to a real smooth running con. Thanks, guys. Great, thanks. And one thing, I mean, we're very friendly people, um, at least most of the time, unless we're like really grumpy, but most of the time we're really happy, friendly people. So, you know, be happy to come talk to us and figure out what we can do to help you out. Uh, just real quick, we have events all over the place. I mean, literally, there's, there's events uh, going on every night. Friday kickstarts the craziness. Um, first, first and foremost, um, you know, special thanks to Akiban, our diamond sponsor. Seriously, guys, I mean, it helps run the conference and obviously all of our sponsors, and I'll get to those in a second, but Akiban did a diamond sponsorship of the entire thing, and Akiban Lab sponsored the Saturday party, so super awesome to them. Um, the reason why we're going to have a ton of beer and alcohol and everything flowing on Saturday and Friday um, is because of them, so, um, as well as, you know, a lot of the other folks out there. And, uh, thanks. <laughs> Who likes free beer? <laughs> and Friday, I just want to mention, so Friday's party, really quick, um, is going to be, um, it's going to be uh, Rance starting off. It's going to, then from there, it's going to go Zach Faisal. Um, if he gets into his flight properly, he's got some flight issues, but we have a backup for that. 
And then it's going to be uh, dual core closing the house. And Friday's uh, uh, sponsorship party is from Bug Crowd. So can we give a round of applause for Bug Crowd for sponsoring Friday? <laughs> And then Saturday's party, um, you know, we're going to start off with uh, DJ Sci-Fi. If you were here last year, you had the crazy sparks flying and stuff everywhere, and there's a great techno, uh, great mixes going on there. And so we're going to have that, and then from there we're going to have, uh, you might have heard them, they're kind of a small band, but uh, Crystal Method playing on Saturday. Um, so that should be good. And we're going to give a shout out to Rapid7, um, Akivant Labs, and RSA for sponsoring uh, Saturday, because seriously, again, without those we wouldn't have the free booze falling. So special thanks again. Um, so, on other events that we have going on, we have zombie face painting, which I believe goes tomorrow. Um, it's in the events handout section of the schedule, so if you check out the events, it has them all listed there. Um, we have Are You Smarter Than a Cisp? Um, whose slide is it? Uh, we have Bourbon Con, which is the unofficial one, but uh, kudos to, to the Bourbon Con folks, because year after year, I hear it just gets amazingly, awesomely better, um, and people get hammered from bourbon, so that's always good. Um, Hack the Hat 3, the Pony Express Workshop, uh, the Derby Con CTF, which I'll have Scott come up here in just a second. Uh, the DerbyCon cake is Rob here. Rob's over here. Where you at, Rob? Raise his hand. That's the mastermind behind the DerbyCon cake. Uh, hilarious. So, you know, for DerbyCon 1, Rob comes up, and uh, he's basically like, oh, hey, you know, uh, I made a cake for you guys, and it's an MS-0267 birthday cake. So we had candles, and we sing happy birthday to MS-0267 because it's the best exploit that we've ever had in our entire lives as pen testers because no one ever patches it still today. Um, and so we, we celebrated it, and we, you know, got hammered and had the sacrificial man ate the cake, and it was like this whole cult thing. And then from there, the second year, it got even better. Uh, was it uh, Max Hendricks and uh, Configure, right? Max Hendricks. Max Hendricks. Sorry, I was, I was like five when that happened. Anyways. Um, and, and, and Configure. So every year gets better and better. This year, it's a formalized contest. Um, actually, if you compete with it, you actually win a black badge. So it's progressed over to that to where it's now a full-fledged contest, which is awesome. It's basically hacking the cake, which is great. Um, we have the Lockwood Village with Fools, the Hardware Hacking with Level 1, uh, the DEF CON documentary. If you haven't seen it at DEF CON, it's a great documentary from uh, Jason Scott. So we really look forward to that. Well, and Jason Scott's also going to be doing a little Q&A with it. Awesome. So Q&A around the documentary. I mean, that's huge. It's awesome. Uh, DEF CON obviously did a huge foundation for where we're at today. Um, it's great to watch. And then we have the Cavalry Workshop, uh, which will be um, going on Saturday and Sunday in the Belmont. Thank you. Uh, Scott, you want to come up and do a uh, quick thing on the CTF? Well, this is our third year doing the CTF. Uh, it's been a pleasure to do it. Uh, our, our idea for the CTF was different from every other cons. Um, you know, you get people that they're, they're, they have a, a good advanced skill set, and then we have other folks here that are, might be here for the first time. So with that, we really designed it around um, letting you play, not having any qualifications, anything like that. So our format is it's open. It's wireless or wired. Uh, it's across uh, on the second floor from the registration. It's in the, what is it, Gulfstream and Hylia. And uh, we'll have the, wireless or the wireless and the wired setup. Uh, basically, you go on there, self-registration, and it's a flag-based capture the flag. And you go in there, you look for flags. Some of them are reverse engineering, web apps, uh, networking, whatever it might be. And there's a scoreboard uh, to submit your flags. Um, as some of you know, if you don't follow the directions, I suggest you read the rules first or you might end up on the bottom of the scoreboard with perhaps negative points. Um, this year I've done a complete revamp to the scoreboard. We now have a wall of shame. So if you do have negative points, you'll be uh, showcased, if you will. Uh, we have some great prizes for it. We have a black badge for the winners. Uh, we also have $300 prepaid gift card. Um, what do we have from Pony Express? Yeah, the the Pony uh, the Pony uh, the Pony plug R2. R2. Yeah. Um, iPad Mini, 64 gig, uh, four fifty dollar Amazon gift card. So we're eight places uh, are going to be prize winners. So that's exciting. Um, I think that's about it. Awesome. And just to clarify, it's one black badge per team. So if there's a team, you get one black badge, not the whole team. So just a heads up. He said black badges. I'm like. Ugh. Now, now, we also have one more unofficial event, and uh, Serbo, you want to stand up here for a second? So Serbo came out, you know, DerbyCon 1. Oh, it's 2, yeah. So DerbyCon 2, and uh, basically um, he started this, this new thing that I really like. It's called Icing Somebody. And so basically it's, it's, it's where you get Smirnoff iced, and it's really warm Smirnoff ice, and you have to drink it if you get ice, and that person then can ice somebody else. 
Um, so if you want to go, there's, yeah, actually, if you guys uh, check underneath your seat real quick. Look underneath your seats, guys. And obviously, you have to be 21 Basically to in this area, somewhere around here. Who's got it? Who's got it? Come on. Maybe it's, it. a, it's the empty seat right next to you? Ah. Probably bubble gum. <laughs> Who's got it? Anybody? Nobody? Y'all <laughs> don't remember where you put it? Who's got it? Yeah, it's, it's taped, it's, it's taped it's underneath. Taped, it's taped underneath with, with uh, some duct tape. How does it it's going to be back there in the middle here somewhere. I think next year I'll just put it in a box and set it there. <laughs> well, that, that didn't work out as intended. Well, that, wow, that failed. Well, someone's not owned enough, because there's, there's definitely a Smirnoff ice underneath there. That's warm. Oprah, you are not. We even microwaved it a little bit. Well, I guess we could use that as an ice block if you find it. That's right. You can't it's, get iced. So, so interesting enough, um, so if you get iced this weekend, I apologize ahead of time. It's kind of, kind of out of control. So this year, uh, DerbyCon comped this ticket for 150 bucks, so you can buy $150 of Smirnoff ice. Um, so good luck, everybody. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. So look out. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. There it is. He's got it. You've been iced. You've been iced. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> you got to chug the entire thing. So I, and then you can ice anybody you want. As long as you're 21. You may. Can I get your ID, sir? <laughs> There he goes, yeah! Woo! It's so good! It's so good! Video team, feel free to turn the camera towards us. Yeah. Woo! He's Video now the team, ice king until he, he passes it off to somebody else. That looks so refreshing. When the video team sees that, you can feel free to turn it towards them. <laughs> All right, so just a real quick shout out. Uh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for coming, seriously. I mean, uh, again, we wouldn't have a conference without you folks getting here and coming here and talking and, and figuring everything out. Um, we'd like to special, uh, do a special thanks to our party sponsors uh, for Friday, Bug Crowd, thank you very much, uh, Akivant Labs, uh, Rapid7, and uh, RSA for sponsoring the Saturday ones. And also all of our additional sponsors that made this possible. And we have so many great sponsors. So go visit the booth, say hi to them. I know we got the whole vendor thing, like, hey, you know, we're not going to check out vendors. But go, go just say hi to them and see what they're doing. Because seriously, without them sponsoring this event, we wouldn't have had what we've been able to do here uh, with DerbyCon. So, you know, everything, everything from the gold sponsors to the silver sponsors to the uh, bronze sponsors, seriously, that's, we really couldn't have done it without any of you. And diamond sponsors, obviously Akivon and Akivon Labs. Yeah, Aki, Akivant, again, kudos to you folks for the diamond sponsorship. So, again, awesome for those guys. And they have nine people speaking here this year. Isn't that crazy? Nine. So, again, thank you for all of our volunteers that make this con possible. Um, the volunteers are really the support system that make it off. Uh, if you look at, you know, uh, I think even Johnny said this too, but a few other folks, like, when, when this conference goes off, it usually goes off without a hitch. Most of the time it's me messing things up. Um, but... You know, the support staff that we have here and the people that dedicate their time to take away from their, their conference time are the really the people that make this uh, con work and run behind the scenes. So a special thanks to them. Yeah, yeah, just real quick. Just with that in mind, um, for security staff, we actually, I, we plan on having a lot more people this year. Um, but just because of circumstances, it, that number dropped really quick right before the con. Had some awesome people step up. Uh, I know I'm not going to be able to mention everyone, but... Um, uh, I can't say enough good things about Banshee, uh, Jim, uh, Quadling, Kick Froggy, uh, Dave Simon, he's staff, Crazy Carl, you guys rock. Um, networking, it actually fixed the hotel network here. Um, actually, you probably saw a tweet about uh, looking for Cisco firmware. That was actually to upgrade the hotel for them because, I shouldn't say this out loud, but they needed some help. But uh, just awesome, awesome people that, uh, that stepped up to help. And real quick, is uh, Dave or, or Creepy Carl here? Can you guys come here real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Creepy. Creepy Carl. So a long story with Creepy Carl really quick. Um, you know, he, he, he kind of talks like this. Um, and so, you know, he asked, he asked my wife, he's like, listen, I don't mean to be creepy or anything, but uh, what kind of perfume do you use because you, you smell great? And I'm like... 
So then he's been Creepy Carl, and there's like a version of Seth that's been called that and everything else. Uh, but no, I want to I want to give a special shout out to uh, Dave and, and and Carl here because and Kyle, Carl, Kyle, um, we interchangeably use it. Um, but I was giving them a special thanks because literally they're up at 4:30 or 5 o'clock every morning, making sure that the network's running. They bust their ass. They came out early to do it. Um, so it's really because of them uh, that a lot of the stuff worked today. And so what we want to do is welcome them to the official team of DerbyCon. They're going to be part of the the main crew here, running it uh, from now on. So welcome aboard, guys. Let it happen. Let it happen. And uh, if you don't know, kids, kids get in for free. Um, so if you have kids here, bring them. Um, obviously, that was probably inappropriate. But I apologize. Um, but you know, they, they definitely get in for free. We made special badges for them. Uh, this is definitely a kid-friendly con. We can't regulate our speakers, so just a heads up if they go in there and there's a bunch of weird stuff. Uh, there's one I think that Shane is doing uh, that I put a disclaimer on there saying like literally 35 years or older probably is a good good fit for that. Um, but. <laughs> But, uh, you know, aside from that, you know, really have fun. Thank you, all of you, for coming, the speakers, the sponsors, the attendees. Uh, we really